Hi my sweet girls, I am back again. After my last video, I got a lot of suggestions and inputs from you all to do a look that is easy and clean with less number of products and brushes. Um, you asked me to do a look which is doable for all occasion times and skins. So I tried to pull up this look which is brown eyes and is workable for both day and night, office or party. I hope you will enjoy next few minutes of my video and uh, would try to do this look further ado let's get started for any long lasting makeup first step is to prime your skin i am using a putty kind of a primer around my t-zone where i have open pores and lips where i have fine lines and my foundation generally tends to crease and crack the way to use a primer is not to drag, rather dab it in your skin. I am trying to do the same with warmth of my finger. I am further dabbing it into my skin. Any excess product, you can use it on rest of your face. Primer is the base for all other face products. I am using this medium coverage radiant foundation, just half of, half of its pump or maybe less than that all around my face. Uh, my suggestion to you all would be if you're doing this makeup for day or office, go for a light to medium coverage foundation. And if you are going for a special occasion, try to keep it medium to full coverage. If your skin doesn't have any issue, then keep it medium. With this uh, damp beauty sponge, I would spread this product all over my face so that my face gets an even look. Whenever you're working with foundation, do remember to cover your ears and neck. Generally, people forget about those areas. Whenever you're applying any foundation of every any coverage level, always dab it around your skin. Do not drag it. And be gentle while doing this. Go all around your hairline too, so that the spread is even. Now, taking the other side of the beauty sponge, which is the clean side, Dab it once again over your face. When you do this, it will help any excess product which is lying on your face to be absorbed. Okay, this is an optional step. I'm using a medium coverage concealer around my eyes. Just a little bit of it so that my eyes look brighten up and wide open. Uh, you don't have to do it. If you're in hurry or you don't want to layer up much, you can completely avoid it. Using the same uh, beauty sponge, I would gently drag this around my eyes. While working with concealer, the way of application is same as foundation. Generally, we find it tough where the concealer should end. So I suggest you the two points. Uh, over your temple, this is the last point. And uh, on your cheeks, this should be the last line. We will do the eyebrows now. For this, I am using a pencil kind of a product which has a spoolie on one end and a retractable pencil on the other end when in hurry i would suggest use a pencil product it is easy to work and in case of mess easy to clean up what i'm doing here is i am making a small um, stroke so that the color which comes from this pencil is like hair uh, from the other side, uh, the spoolie side, I'll uh, spread the color evenly all over my brows. Same way as I'll do the other side. Now, we'll come to the powder part. Uh, I'm using a pressed powder. You can use any powder of your choice. Can it be a compact powder or a setting powder? To settle all uh, the liquid products that we've used, that is uh, the foundation and the concealer as well as settle all the crease lines powder your makeup it also ensures makeup stays as is for hours we would now uh, work on our eyes for this i am using urban decay's naked heat palette with this fluffy brush i am trying to show you how it looks this is a dome shape little bit stiff brush generally known as crease brush I'm trying to give you an insight so that you can pick one for yourself. If so this is how this palette, beautiful palette looks like. Okay, so out of all these colors, we'll use just two shades to make this look. 
uh, first one is this and then the other one is such a beautiful brown brick brown color let me swatch it for you so that you get an inside how wonderful this one looks now using my trusted brush that is my finger i will use the lighter shade to um, give a uniformity to my eyelids this is the point where your eyeshadow should reach the highest point gently and uniformly i'll spread it all over my eyelids using the same crease brush which i would shown you i am intensifying the color all over my lid below the brow bone so that it looks even i would suggest if you are in a hurry this could be the last step for your eyes you can leave it there and i use the eyeliner now you must be wondering if this could be the last step why the hell is she still working you don't know how fond i am of makeup i have picked the darker shade the other one which i showed you to create this crease line and the outer v uh, i am pinching this brush to create a smoky effect on on my waterline this extra step makes uh, people feel you've given a lot of effort now we'll use an eyeliner any of your choice this is a hack you know you can use any tubes back in the morning when you are in a hurry to create a perfect eyeliner every morning now with this tube i am creating the outermost edge of the liner and the same base for the other one it now it will be super easy moving from the innermost corner and we'll join the outermost voila every time you'll get a perfect eyeliner without any error see i'm doing it the same on the other side using the brush the old brush crease brush and my trusted fingers i am trying to uh, clear all the harsh lines and make the look if uh, like seamless and beautifully drawn trust me people will think you've done so much of effort but to pull this look you don't need any more than nine or ten minutes um, now what I the step I'll do will be tight lining my waterline which I'll do off camera we'll move to the bronzer I am using a matte bronzer with this uh, contouring or a fluffy contouring brush this step uh, is optional again I have a little plump face so i prefer to contour this uh, contouring should go below your cheekbone you should dab any powder product over your foundation rather than tracking it so that the foundation doesn't move do you know the favorite part of my makeup is this the blush this blush is pink and a little shimmery whenever you pick blush you know you should dab it so that the excess powder goes off and helps you to achieve a blush look which is effortless and errorless you can see the significant difference between my face when i started the makeup and now what do you think comes next yes the lipstick i am using a subtle pink lipstick from bobby brown this is one of my favorite lipsticks if in pinks which works well with all brown girls and the olive skin uh, after this you know you have to fix your makeup i am using a fixing spray from nyx it is a dew finish uh, makeup spray let it dry i'll curl and apply mascara offline and come back it should not take you more than 10 minutes trust me keep on trying so that's all from me um i hope you like this look i would like to say something to you don't limit your imagination i pulled up this look with brown color you can do it with any color of your choice be it pink mauve anything as per your choice outfit but i would say you have a good chance to work on your skills uh, of makeup during this lockdown practice it and if you have any other query please leave your question in the comment section below i would love to answer them until then bye and before you leave this video please give it a like share and subscribe it means a lot to me thank you